What's up guys? I'm back with another video. Today I am going to be making baked ziti and I'm taking you guys along with me. This is Vlogmas Day 6. So um, I'm just going to take you guys along the process. This is a quick meal if you're hungry like I am right now that you could just literally one, two, three and make. I have already kind of started so I mashed my garlic already. Um, it's the same process if you're making lasagna or spaghetti and ground beef, except you're gelling everything together. So it's more similar to lasagna than it is spaghetti and ground beef. If you watched my Thanksgiving video, then you would kind of see the steps. I'm doing everything I did with the lasagna minus the ricotta. Also, do not forget before we get any further to like, comment, and subscribe if you like these videos. And if you want more like them, leave a comment down below and let me know so I can cook up some more recipes for you guys or with you guys. Um, yeah, so I already got started mashing the garlic and I already put water in my pot for my, um, for my noodles. So I'm just going to turn that fire on and add a little oil to that pot of water so that my noodles don't stick. Not too much, just like a touch. Because don't forget, oil will be in other things and you don't want to have too much oil. We want to eat what we want, but we want to also like stay healthy. So what you'll need for this is ground beef or ground turkey. It's your preference. I'm, I'm using ground beef. Um... You need, you could use penne, but um, they should be bigger than this, but Troy went to the store, so I got that. Mozzarella and sharp cheddar cheese. I usually get Kraft, but again, Troy went to the store, so you know what happens when you send a man to the store. Um, and then I'm using traditional ragu. You want to mash garlic. And then you want to have your seasoned salt, garlic salt, onion powder, cayenne pepper for spice. And as you know, we debated this already in the Thanksgiving video. I will be adding sugar and black pepper. Um, that's pretty much it. So I have the water currently boiling, like I said, and I'm about to turn the fire on on the pot that the meat will be going in. I'm going to put a little oil in that and let that heat up real nice and hot with my garlic. So, let me do that. So, put a little oil in there. Again, you don't have to OD. You don't have to use a lot of oil. I like to use vegetable oil. I don't know if I like to use vegetable oil because it says vegetable and I feel like that's doing something for me. But um, I tell myself because it's vegetable oil, it's the best. But y'all use whatever oil y'all want. Um, I'm just going to make sure these are all mashed. And then I'm just going to throw that garlic in with the oil so that it can kind of fry a little. And I did like, I want to say I did like six, six or so cloves of, um, of garlic. And then you kind of just want to stir that around. You know, the oil be popping. So at this point, your, your garlic and your, um, your garlic and your oil should be frying a bit, and I'm going to spice open that ground beef, and you know, you do nothing special to the ground beef, but add it into that mix, which I'm going to do right here. It smells so good already. 
I love garlic. So. And don't think that your ground beef is too, like, not enough. Like, you see, like, I have this small tray. First of all, it's the two of us. That's one, because Mason doesn't eat this either. He had his own meal. He had me make something else for him. But also, don't feel like um, the ground beef is too little, especially if you're not cooking for, like, a lot of people, because once you add the sauce, it, like, spreads out and makes it a lot. So... So I'm just going to keep stabbing my, um, or mashing, in a sense, my ground beef with my spatula and flipping it so everything is brown. And you want to keep stabbing it if you watch my Thanksgiving video. You would know why I do this, but if you haven't watched it, then you should go and watch it. Um, but it's just to basically get the meat very much separated and very much like greeny so that everything fries really well as opposed to having the meat mushed together because then obviously some parts won't cook properly or it'll take very, very long and you're going to turn a 20 minute meal into like a 45 minute meal when it doesn't have to be that way. So. And ultimately, this is going to go in the oven. So think about it cooking twice. So like you boil your noodles, you make your um, ground beef and everything. And then when you put everything in your pan, you're putting that in the oven. So it's going to like cook again. And that's just to give it like a firmer, have all the cheese melt and all of that. So that's the purpose of that. And I'm gonna um I'm putting this in an in a aluminum pan because only one pan though because um I don't wanna wash nothing. I literally just washed everything before I started cooking and I don't wanna wash like I'm I already have like the pots I'm using that are gonna be dirty and whatever other little like spoons and utensils I'm using, like why add like something extra? I do have a glass pan as you've seen before, but why use that to have to wash it if you don't have to? Now, if I didn't have this aluminum, these aluminum pans, then obviously I would have used that, but I do, so just makes my life easier. But it is your preference. And I guess if I was cook, it depends on my mood also. I'm trying to be fancy, then maybe I'll use my glass pan. Or if people are coming over, maybe I'll use my glass pan. But it's just the two of us. You know, nothing major. Didn't know what to cook today. And I gotta eat. We gotta eat. So this was the fastest, um, the fastest thing that came to mind and the fastest meal we're starving. We're also gonna have it with garlic bread, so it's just gonna be ziti and garlic bread. So I'm gonna use garlic bread that is store-bought that I'm just gonna like kind of warm up. But I do know how to make garlic bread from scratch. Maybe I'll do that on a day where I'm not starving and I have time for all of that. Garlic bread from scratch is way better. It tastes so, so good. I'll have to do that with you guys. Because it tastes really, really, really good. Very important that your meat is cooked. Like, we like things super well done. Super, 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 super well done. Like, even when we're eating steak, it has to be super well done. And I know some people find that, like, the weirdest thing because they feel like you take away from the steak if it's well done. Cause you're not getting like the juices and but we just can't see no pink no blood no like no so just make sure it's super well done if you like it that way but again to each his own you like what you like i like what i like so whatever you like is how you cook your stuff So 
like the longest process I would say in this whole meal is the meat because everything once that's done you pretty much done once that's done you're just gonna in that pan or in whatever pan that you use you're just gonna add your boiled noodles your meat your cheeses yeah that's it and then you're gonna mix that all up in the pan put that in the oven and you're done and you can put it in the oven from anywhere from like I'll say like 25 to 35 minutes and 35 minutes is kind of like pushing it because as I said everything is already cooked so you don't need to like OD with it in the oven also it's very important that when you're making your noodles when you're boiling your noodles that you follow whatever instructions they are telling you so if they tell you like eight minutes is to or nine this says nine minutes for like a firm consistency follow what they say because i noticed that whenever my sister told me that because i used to just boil it and just kind of like eyeball it whenever i think it's ready and my sister was like no just follow what's on the box and i started to do that and i noticed that it gives you the perfect texture because you don't want it to taste like soup whether you're making spaghetti or lasagna or anything that involves any kind of like pasta noodles or whatever so this says to do nine to ten minutes so I will literally put a timer on so that I don't go over that because I like that firmness that it has and especially if you're going to put it in the oven you don't want it to already be soggy from the boil and then now you're going to put it in the oven like it's literally going to melt in your mouth and that's not I don't know that's not good to me so I suggest following that so everything is nice and separated and everything is brown, no more pink. But you, you have to let it fry. But I'm gonna start now to add in my um, seasoning. So I'm gonna add one packet of my seasoned salt. You can always add more seasoning as you go and as you taste, but I like to start light and then, if necessary, add more. I'm going to add my cayenne pepper. I like spice, so this is probably like, I add more of this than anything. Um, a little garlic salt. Be light on the garlic salt because, again, it says salt and... Salty food is just, it's awful. A little onion powder, some black pepper, my black pepper says organic. We, I don't, I'm laughing because I don't, we never have organic black pepper, like, I don't know. Troy was tweaking, guys, when he went to the market. And a little paprika, and that's it. And then just mix that all in. And you should, I have my fire on like medium low. I'm adding my pasta now. Pour that right in and you want to stir your pasta too just because just because you put in oil doesn't mean that it's not going to stick as soon as you put it in and i'm going to put a timer on for it says nine to ten so i'll do ten minutes okay so ten minutes start so at 5 16 the noodles will be done it is now 506 All right, um, now what was I saying? Oh yeah, stir your, um, stir your pasta. Because like I said, just because you put oil in, when you first pour it in, you still need to stir it to make sure that everything is loose and separated. 
because it will still kind of stick. So, um, checking on my meat. So that's coming together nicely and it's starting to fry also. But I'm still going to leave it some more because they can still fry some more. And again, you want it to fry like as much as possible, not burnt, but fry as much as possible because when you put in your pasta sauce, that kind of softens it up. So you just want to make sure that it's fried. So when it softens up, it softens up to the perfect consistency, if that makes any sense to you guys. All right. So it's nice and fried everything's well cooked it has beautiful color and it's nice and separated and green kind of so i'm gonna now add in my sauce and i still have four minutes left for my pasta to be done And I'm going to go ahead and add in the whole thing because this is not a huge jar. And nobody wants dry eating either. So. so just mix that all in when you're adding your sauce. Make sure all your meat is well covered by the sauce. Okay, and then you could, you cover your pot back down. You don't add your sugar in right away. You let the meat Cook down into your seasoning and stuff. And um and plus you want the, the sauce to like warm up. So you cover your pot, which I'm about to do. And you let that just cook for about like five to seven minutes while we wait for our um so two more minutes and it will be done i'm gonna take my spoon and just see what it's looking like okay and just let that <coughs> continue to boil and I'm going to open these up just to prep for, for everything. Oh my god, I'm like fighting with this. Why is this one being like that? The other one opened nice and smooth. So that's that. I'm gonna wash this in preparation right. for. I'm gonna, gonna check that. on my meat. Because you don't want it to dry out either. Okay, it's good enough, and I can add my sugar in now. And there's my alarm for my pasta. So turn that off. And we're gonna pour that into a strainer, drainer, whatever you are calling it. I don't even know right now. Let me add my sugar first, then I'll do that. So I'm gonna add my sugar into my um, into my meat, into my ground beef. Now, I 
know what's going on nowadays because I feel like I be adding sugar in my ground beef and I don't be something something wrong with the sugar. And since there's a shortage on every damn thing, I feel like they're not making the sugar and stuff the same. Like it's less sugary because I would feel like I'm putting mashed sugar and then I will taste it and then it would be tasting like there's no sugar. Let me taste. should be fine don't knock it till you try it because I know some people are gonna watch like sugar in her ground beef but I urge you to try it just like y'all be trying all them TikTok um TikTok meals and stuff like that I could try a little sugar in ground beef so now let me taste it All right, let that sugar settle in. All right, so drained out my noodles. So I like to kind of let it sit on top of the pot like so, so that whatever is like, you know, needs to be drained out. You don't want it to be mad water in your pan. And then this is also ready. So y'all see how fast this meal is? So fast, so I'm gonna turn that fire off. And I'm gonna taste this. Oh my god, I can eat the whole ground meat like that. Alright, let me go wash this. Hold on. Alright, got that washed off. Now, I'm going to pour my... It's not really leaking, so I guess it's all drained out. I'm going to pour my pasta right into my pan, just like that. See, two things already I gotta wash. And then I'm going to add my meat. And you just wanna mix it as you're adding, like little by little. could add ricotta to this but I'm not doing that because I never do it when I do um ZD but I don't I like ricotta so it, I think it would taste good but Trey doesn't really like it so and I never do it so no need to start now okay so just mix that all in try to get the meat like well spread out and fully covered so that everything has meat. So then you just continue adding and adding and adding your meat in and mixing that up. And then you're gonna add your cheese. And then that's it. And then it goes in the oven, which I should have put on this whole damn time. So you set your oven to 350. So you set your oven to 350 and you wait until it gets to 350 to actually put your um, pan in. And as I stated before, it only needs to be in the oven for about 25 to 35 at the most because you're really just putting it in so everything could melt together. You're not putting it in to cook because everything is cooked. The only thing that's not going to be melted is your cheeses and stuff. So you want to put it in the oven for that. Plus it gives it that nice baked. It is called baked ziti. So it's called that for a reason. But if you didn't want to put it in the oven and you wanted to just eat this like that, that's fine. I've never done it, but I suppose it's fine. 
all right so that's empty so let me show you how it looks so far so it looks like this right now mmm that looks good already right and now I'm gonna go on and add my mozzarella I'm trying to leave a little in the bag for like the top because this right here that I'm putting on I'm gonna mix it in and your cheddar so if you're not a fan of cheese obviously you can just eat your ziti cheeses but when it comes down to cheese I'm a mouse because I really love cheese so you mix all of that in because you want cheese. If you like cheese, you want it to be all in there. You don't want it to just be at the top. So mix that in. Like that. Right. And then I'm going to add the rest of my cheese to the top layer. And I'm going to taste this with y'all. Look at that. See that stringing cheese? Mmm. So good. So just add this to the top. Sprinkle it evenly over the top. Same thing with your cheddar. And you're done. Like once that oven beeps and hits 350, it's ready for the oven. So I'm gonna wait for that and I'm gonna put it in the oven and then I will be back with you guys to show you the finished product. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And let me know what you think about my video, my ZD, my ingredients. But let me know what you want to know. Okay? I'll be back. Okay, guys. So this is the finish outcome. So this is what it should look like. See how good that looks? Look, look at that cheese stringing. Mm, mm, mm. I'm about to warm up my garlic bread and eat. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.